Hey guys, Nano Guy here. Today I'm going to talk about NanoLeaf's new integration with Corsair's IQ software. Now, what IQ does is let you synchronize the RGB lighting across all the compatible Corsair devices you own, creating a beautiful light show that takes over your entire setup. And now, that includes your NanoLeaf lights. We're going to show you how to get IQ and NanoLeaf working together. First, let's make sure that you have the latest version of the IQ software downloaded from Corsair's website. Then, you want to make sure that your NanoLeaf lights are all set up and connected to the same network your PC is on. Open up the IQ desktop app and go to Settings. Click the Integrations tab, and once here, click the switch to Allow NanoLeaf Integration. Run the Setup Wizard and select the NanoLeaf device you want to pair with IQ. Then, hold the power button on the NanoLeaf controller for about 5 seconds, and then click Pair on IQ. If all goes well, you should now see your NanoLeaf lights on the homepage next to the rest of your IQ devices. Now those are the basics of connecting your NanoLeaf lights to IQ, but now let's take a deeper look and see how you can customize the lights further with IQ and NanoLeaf. On the left side of the homepage, there are some preset moving and static scenes you can choose from if you just want to get your setup glowing quick and easy. And there are some other preset scenes you can add to your homepage as well. Now, to get more advanced, you hover over the NanoLeaf device on the homepage and select the lighting effects option. You'll see a preview of your NanoLeaf layout on screen. You can adjust or add lighting effects in the lighting layers window and can even control the areas you want to apply the lighting effects to, even when layered. So for example, I can click and drag so that this area is affected and also make it a quick lighting zone by clicking on this plus once I have my panel selected. That way you don't have to select these areas manually again. And then control click individual panels also making a quick lighting zone out of these panels as well. And then apply a different lighting effect to this zone. You can adjust the brightness of the panels in device settings, as well as reset the pairing status if needed. Please note that if you do have multiple profiles within IQ, you're going to have to set up your NanoLeaf configurations for each profile. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and are now able to set up IQ and your NanoLeaf products. We'll see you next time.